Hey, it's your girl Chab. Today I'm coming at you with a demo and a review on the new Cover Girl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. I have two shades right here because this shade range. <laughs> Today I'm going to be putting on this foundation with a brush on one side and a sponge on the other side. Yes, we're going to be talking about the claims. I feel like this is Cover Girl's clean line amongst the plethora of different lines that they have. I feel like drugstore makeup right now is trying to dip into the good ingredients and the, you know, taking care of the dewy skin lovers and the dry skin peoples out there. So we're gonna put this on the face today. I'm gonna show you how it looks. I already tested this out. So if you wanna know my thoughts, if you wanna know if this foundation is right for you, if you wanna know if it's worth your monty hunty, then let's get started. As always with any product review, I like to read about it if you don't want to hear me ramble and rant and read then you could skip to here yeah, you're welcome i got my phone right here it's on silent as an autopilot Anyway, we're on Ulta's website right now. We're going to be talking about the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. It has 14 shades. That's what I was talking about when I said the skin range. It's not good. It's not good. And the thing is, CoverGirl has a lot of foundations within their line. And the shade range is a little more diverse as far as I know. I mean, I don't really like CoverGirl foundations, to be quite honest. I like their concealers. Well, only one concealer. This is for $11.99. It has one fluid ounce, which is typical. $11.99, I don't know about these drugstore brands. They'd be pretty steep here. And while I was looking this up, I saw that in different places they have for $9.99. Still kind of expensive for drugstore products, if you ask me. But anyway, let's go on to the details. It says, show off fresh, healthy skin with your CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. Formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Ph ph thighs. <laughs> this lightweight nourishing liquid foundation gives your skin the moisture boost it craves with a delicate infusion of milky coconut and soothing aloe. You'll experience a glowing dewy finish that lasts all day long, blurring imperfections and creating a more even skin tone. Pro tip, use <laughs> CoverGirl True Blend Face Prime. No, it's cruelty free. <laughs> That's all y'all need to know. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Yeah, they want you to use a CoverGirl face. No, we ain't gonna do that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna start off with a little bit of moisturizer on the face. I do have some, but my face is feeling a little dry. There's a lot of dots on my face. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna put some moisturizer on. This is just the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I mean, I don't really care for it and I don't recommend it, but I'm gonna use it anyway because it does give a little bit of hydration. And that's that on that and then i also noticed that there's kind of like a smell it smells like chemicals <laughs> so let that sit in the face for a little bit let's talk about that foundation real quick so here is the packaging i like pink pink's my favorite color it comes in a little squeezy tube like this it looks like it's easy to travel with there's some stuff in the back where they have like different claims and things like that great awesome beautiful they have some like ingredients that i'm very pleased with i mean water obviously glycerin those are two very like standard ingredients especially ones for like dewy skin and things like that we have trimethicone or I don't know how to say that, but that's like a silicone, I'm pretty sure. And that's like, I guess, the blurring part of it. They have some other stuff. Niacinamide, which I think is really good for the skin. It helps. I think it helps with like dark spots and things like that. So that's great. Um, There's some other things. I see more silicones, blah, 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 blah. The coconut milk and the aloe extract are like towards the bottom of the ingredients list, which brands do that a lot. They're like, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of some, some here it's gonna be in there but it's gonna be like less than one percent and that's what this is right here and i think there's like fragrance or something because this joint smells like something but anyway we're gonna apply it onto the skin okay like this moisturizer has already like set into the skin it's ready to go so what i do is i mix them okay let me tell you my debacle when i purchased these okay i couldn't find the medium anywhere okay i think medium would probably be my shade but every single time i go somewhere there is no medium so what i did was i grabbed light medium because i was just like you know i'm a little pale look look at this 
I'm pale. I don't have a lot of um, color in my skin, except for rosacea. She's always coming through. I bought this first. I tested it out on my face and nah, it was not good. It was, I looked ashy, I looked gross. So I was like, no. Then I bought medium tan. I know for a fact this ain't gonna match me. But what I was thinking was, you know, I can't find medium anywhere. Let me mix it too. So if you really think about it, I spent too much money on this, okay? Already $20 on a foundation that doesn't even match me and I have to mix the two together, whatever. So what I found really weird about the lighter one is that there's like little tiny pieces of, I don't know if I could show you. So I don't know if you could see in the foundation, but there's like little chunks in there. In the dark one, there isn't. I don't know like you're supposed to shake it and everything before you put it on. Great, fine, whatever. But like, so look at this here, which first of all, undertone is pink. So great start there, cover girl. But if you could see the light one has like chunks in it and then the dark one does not. So that's a little weird in my opinion. Kind of like messes with the consistency overall. Seriously, cover girl, what's going on? This color right here, oof. Usually do I'll, I'll do like a little dollop of the light and then a little dollop of the darker color. And then I mix that up and I put it on my face. A little dime size of that, a little dime size of this. You see it and then you mix it up together. What do you get? Not a great match. Let's start putting this on her face. So I got a brush right here. This is the Morphe Y6. You can use code Yo Mama to save nothing off because it's not a code. It's probably never going to be a code because Morphe, what are you doing? All right, so we got a brush here. I've coated it with the foundation. Let's apply. All right, so this is one half of the face with one layer of this foundation. This is how much I have left on my hand. As you can see, you know, the match is not that bad, but once it starts to kind of oxidize and sit on the skin a little bit more, it almost gears a little bit more towards like pink and stuff because I'm a little more like yellowy. I don't know if you could tell right now, but like this is one one layer on the skin right now. What I notice is that it is clinging onto dry patches and things around my nose. I don't know if you can see, I have a little bit of dryness right there. I don't feel a dewy finish. I like, I understand. I think it's pro it probably has something to do with the smoothing ingredients that are, are in here, which my skin looks smooth, but my skin doesn't have any issues with it being like textured for the most part. But yeah, my face looks like a little more on the matte side, even though this is supposed to be a dewy finish. You could still see some of my redness in here. You could still see a little bit of redness here, but for the most part, like it did even it out a little bit more. And usually if I were to wear this type of foundation throughout the day and stuff, I will only do one layer, but for testing purposes and also so for demonstration purposes, I will be applying another layer. So I'm gonna take the rest that's on my hand right now and I'm gonna apply some more. All right, so here is my face with two layers of this foundation on. So my skin looks still pretty dry. My nose looks horrendous. Like, I don't know if you could see all that junk there. It just looks even worse. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Usually I could tell when a foundation is not so great or too dry for me is when it just looks like doo-doo on my nose. I would say this is definitely like a buildable light to medium. You could get this to full coverage. I probably wouldn't recommend it. It just, ew. Anyway, so let's do the other side with the sponge. So let me get some more product because it is now gone off of my hand. So we gonna apply some more. But what I did notice, which I want to say real quick, there was like junk <laughs> coming from, like I said, the lighter foundation. There's an inconsistency allegedly when it comes to these CoverGirl products. I remember I was trying to test out another cover Cover Girl foundation. I think it was the matte one. And this was like around during the summertime of last year when it came out. And, you know, I was really excited. I was going to test it out and everything, but I had to return that Joan because like it was real chunky and it had stuff in it. So Cover Girl, y'all need to get your QC under control and stuff because I want to have no chunky foundation. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. So I'm gonna dot this on my skin on the other side and I'm gonna try to blend it out with this sponge right here. This is the Tarte sponge. I really like this one. Very rare that I find things that I like from Tarte anymore. But anyway, <laughs> let's apply. All 
All right, so here is this side with the application of a sponge. So what I can see right now is that it definitely leaves less coverage on the face because the sponge is soaking up a lot of the products, which I don't mind personally, just because I don't like a heavy coverage anymore before I used to do the whole nine yards, including baking. Don't do that anymore. Don't want to do that. Uh, no, but look at the skin right here. So for some reason, this is leaving a more dewier finish. It's not shiny or dewy, dewy by any means like it's not glossy uh which is what i look for when it comes to dewy foundations it's almost leaving just like a natural finish to the skin but it's not like you know really glossy usually you could see like a lot more reflection in the skin when you're applying like a dewy foundation something that claims to be dewy and this is not giving me that like real shine it just looks natural you can still see redness things like that typical we already knew that so let's apply a second layer again Okay, so this layers on real quick. What I wanna show you is while I was blending this out, I know this is not a part of the sponge and this is not a part of my skin. So there's this little tiny guy. I don't know if you saw me picking it off of my face. My skin is not peeling at the moment, but this little guy came off of the foundation. I don't know what it is. It looks like latex. Like you ever play with liquid latex and you're just peeling something. I don't know what it is. I wish I had a microscope or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's look at the skin right now. So underneath my eyes, it looks gross. Do you see how patchy this is right here? It's like crusting up. <gasps> you, you see this? It's, it's like crusting up. So let me, let me, let me put disclaimer here real quick, just so y'all can know the dealio, okay? I wanted to put the rest, of, like I want to do a full face. You know, I had my products here. I was ready to go. I was going cream contour and stuff, Huda booty or whatever. This is the only product here besides our eyeshadows that don't smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. I ain't gonna put her other complexion products on. Absolutely not. But anyway, so I wanted to do like a full entire face, which I think I still am gonna do, but I'm not gonna layer on any concealer just because I want y'all to see the look and everything. But I do wanna layer on some other products that I would use on a daily basis as far as to, you know, do a whole face. I'm probably not gonna do any eye makeup or anything like that just because I think you know how I feel about this foundation because I don't like that it's like crusting up here. I have already tested this product out. And it has done this to me a couple times and I do want to say I have used this product Okay, I've used it many times before like I keep this in my drawer here Just so you know when I go and prep my skin I pull this out and it's not a bad product It's just I wouldn't recommend a priming moisturizer because just use skincare <laughs> That's what I said before in my Glossier video if you don't believe in priming moisturizers Just have good skincare I've never seen that product mess with any of my foundations before. It's definitely this. I just wanna layer on some products just to kind of show you the performance and how things work on the face with this foundation as the base. So I'm gonna do some Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor. I have it in fair because I saw medium and light and those Jones are too dark. This is just a nice cream contour. I actually really like the consistency of this. This is not a review on this, but I'm gonna apply this on my skin just to show you how it looks, okay? Okay, now I'm applying the Cloud Paint and Shade Beam. Love this stuff, y'all already know. Highlighter. Look, I know this is Glossier heavy, but I'm reformed, okay? I'm a Glossier gal. Am I a cool gal now? Leave a comment down below. Anyway, so this is the Night Shine Hush Hush Edwa Demonetize. Anyway. All right, so I got my complexion products on for the most part. I have my contour, well, not contour, it's a bronzer. I don't contour. <laughs> anyway, so I have my bronzer on, I have my blush, and I have my highlighter. And um, recently, I've just been using a lot of cream products just because it's dry. And I think for this product right here, if you do have dry skin and you do decide to use this product, then I would try to go with a cream product just because <laughs> it soaks up 
everything. Okay, so let's examine the face. Let's take a look. Like, pretty much no difference besides now I have a little bit of color on, but just a little bit. What are my thoughts on this foundation? Looking at it right now, it's settling into fine lines, and I don't have a lot of fine lines, okay? Because, you know, I'm not 30 yet, okay? Not that 30 year olds are supposed to have fine lines, but look, I'm Filipino. Ingredients? I'm Hispanic. Foundation. We don't age that quickly, okay, and stuff. I probably look like I'm 22. I'm not 22. <laughs> I don't have fine lines. I mean, I got like a little bit of something right here, which y'all can't see, but I can see, and that's what's most important, okay? I mean, it's not settling in there, which is great, but I also didn't apply a whole lot there, but like around my nose and stuff, my eyes, I, this like never happens, and I know I don't have eye crust. I might have just woke up, but I don't have eye crust. I wash my face, okay? It's settling into different things. I feel like there's a little bit of patchiness here and there for something that's supposed to be light coverage. And then what gets me, okay, what gets me even more is that it's supposed to be a dewy finish. The only reason why my face looks so shiny and dewy is because of my highlighter, okay? It's not because of this, okay? Not only that, but it has a scent to it, which doesn't, it doesn't really bother me, but it reminds me of milk and also the name being skin milk and stuff. Like I don't want my products that smell like milk. It doesn't linger, but the smell bothers me. Anyway, let's get on to like the final conclusion, the final verdict. So what are my final thoughts? How do I feel about the Cover Girl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation? Drum roll, please. It is chat. Not approved. I don't like it. I already knew I didn't like it, but I wanted to show you on the skin what it's been doing to me. For the most part, what really irritates me is that the claims are not true on this product. It feels really dry. I think for like oily skin people, maybe it'll work, but I still don't recommend this product to anybody just because with CoverGirl, they need better quality control because this is not the first time that I've had a foundation that started to kind of junk up and pill on me and stuff. I don't like that. This is a no for me. Yo dog, this is a no for me. I spent money on them. Oh, well, I'll give this to somebody. Maybe they'll like it and stuff. Probably not the light one. The light one's trash. The other one is okay. But like for the most part, it doesn't look good on my skin. Maybe it works for you. Okay, let me put this out into the world real quick. Maybe it doesn't work for me, but maybe it'll work for you. I recommend that you try out whatever you want to try out. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion and I'm sticking to it. And I don't like these. So who wants them? So anyway, if you've tried this foundation out, let me know in the comments down below, has it worked for you? Is it doing the same stuff that it's doing to you like it is to me, whatever? Leave a comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts and let me know what I should try next because I think this was also a recommendation. A couple people sent me a DM saying, hey, try out the skin milk, try out the skin milk. So I tried it and I don't like it, so. Goodbye. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all these social medias down below right here. And ding ding, hit the notification bell because y'all girl make new videos every Friday. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what you would like to see next. As always, thank you for watching. Bye. Still kind of expect blurring imperfections and blurring infer infer <laughs> i still don't reckon they need better quality they don't need that i don't know what's going on with my face right now all right